I appreciate everybody being here today. We're going to get into a discussion about how the compensation works, the basics of the compensation plan, and a particular way that's optional of building, building a team with this compensation plan. The benefit of using this method is that it creates the income potential for everybody that's becoming enrolled that's much higher than if they did it in a more traditional manner. And you'll see that as you start to see the, the plan unfold and you'll start to see, okay, I understand why you're doing it this way. That's, that's what my, uh, my hope is the outcome when I get done showing you this process. So what I'd like to start with is I'd like to show you the basics of the plan by itself, which is the Royal Q compensation plan. When you start out, everybody is a V1. Okay, that's the initial, when you've activated your membership, you are now a V1, welcome to the team. You've paid your 120 in USDT, you've sent it into the wallet and you press the activate button, good to go. You've got your link, you're raring to go, you're a brand new affiliate, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, off you go. How do you get to V2? What you have to do is you have to enroll three people. Those three people are your directs, also known as personals, also known as frontline. Those are all the same thing to me. Those, are, those words mean the same thing, they're synonyms. Royal Q calls them directs, Let, let's use their word three directs, and you need to have a total of 20 people in your organization. Could those people all be frontline? They could, but I, I'm going to show you why I don't think that's a good idea. I did that because we had information that was incorrect when we started. What I would do today and what I'm advocating people do is stay with three and then place people at depth. Okay, It's a better plan, and you'll see why it's a better plan here in just a minute for this compensation plan. This, this compensation plan is called a differential plan. The, the plaques behind me there, a company that I made quite a bit of money with actually 20 plus years ago, and I still get paid every day, it had a differential plan. So when I discovered this was a differential plan, I was excited. I had a lot of rust in this old brain, but you know, we get, we're starting to get the rust out and you know, we had some techniques that were pretty, pretty powerful. They work equally as well today. So this, this at any rate, this is what you have to do. You have to have three people that are directs and you have to have 20 in total. The perfect in a perfect world, you enroll your three directs, and then you help them enroll, let's say six each. Okay, that's perfect. You've got enough people then that you're over the line. You now go, you know, you you, you have um, your your necessary people to be a V two. Okay, and you earn more money. The, the money part you can read about and see how this works, but you earn more more on their trading, and you earn also now on those. Three people that you enroll, those are direct. So you're going to, you know, at V2, you're going to earn 40 bucks. On the people that they enroll, you're going to earn an additional $10. This is on the indirects, okay? Not on your front line. Now, how do you get to V3? V3, you need to have a couple more directs for a total of five. Now, here's where we start to see some leadership criteria come in. This for a long time, we interpreted as three of them, they have to be directs front line at V2. That was inaccurate. They can be anywhere in one of, in, in your three legs. They do have to be in separate legs. As long as you've got a V2 somewhere in one of those three legs, you're good. You have to have five people front line and three different members have to be V2. They can be two levels away, 20 levels away, as long as they're in three separate legs and you have to have a total of 100 people on your team. That's it. And from there on, once you learn these basics, you'll figure out what V4, V5, and V6 is. I don't want to get into that because it's not really germane to somebody as you know, a beginner in, in learning the basics of get to V2. V2 is the most important building block in this equation because that's the initial objective is to get to V2. Three directs, 20 in total. That's the number. That's, you know, put your head down, run fast in that direction. That's the number to do that with. In other words, it's, that's the basics of the plan. Now, how does that look? Okay. Here is how that looks. So you're at top, you're on top right here. Just put your name in place of mine where it says, Robert, that's probably very small, but the pink box right there, that's you. Okay. You go out and you find your three generals, I call them. These are the people that are your running partners. These are the ones that you say, look, let's go to the top in this bad boy. Let's make some money. And they go, cool. 
you know, and hopefully they really will take it seriously because it's a heck of a business. What I do with them is I say, I'm going to help you build one of your three legs, Stanley. Powerful. I'm going to help you build one of your three legs. Here's my better half wave. <laughs> this is my Hi. wife, Anna. And she's, she's putting the lion back in its cage. I'm going to turn the cam off now and then to take a bite of this. So I don't eat in front of you, but I, it helps me to be more effective if I'm not starving and have low blood sugar. So thank you, honey. <laughs> um, so with that in mind, um, when you look at this and you see the orange legs, that's me helping that part of the team. Notice the two green legs under Stanley, the two green legs under Arafel, the two green legs under Clint. I'm helping them, but I'm not going to place anybody there, okay? In other words, I'm going to teach them to fish, but I'm not going to hand them fish. So, pardon me for being rude and eating, but I'll be a better presenter if I'm not hungry. I hope this makes sense so far. In other words... This, this is, you know, initially we were placing people wide and I wish I would have had this information when I was new to Royal Q because I wouldn't have done that. I enrolled 35 personals wide. Oops. The maximum you need ever to be V6 is 20. In other words, when you, when you look at the diagram, I just want to touch on this point. You do have to have some width in your organization. In other words, your, your directs. V3, okay, just to start from the beginning. V2, you have to have three personals. And I'm just focusing on personals here. V4, you got to have eight. V5, 12. And V6, 20. Well, I'm well over that mark. I, I won't have to worry about that as, you know, over the next year. But I wish I would have placed them at depth because then it would have helped my people more instead of just me. Had I known this, I would have done it that way. Okay. And now we know that. So we're, we're, shifting gears and getting into a way that, you know, I used long ago, but it still works just exactly the same. So if I have a new recruit, a prospect, I say, look, I'll place you in my organization in a leg that is really doing some good things. So I, I go to Stanley, by the way, Stanley is, is my business associate who's Nigerian and he's a terrific leader. He's, he is, gung-ho on on getting going with with royal q and doing some really great stuff and already doing a great job of leadership we've been working together actually before i was in royal q and he was in royal q with other projects so i, I stanley is a known quantity to me and i'm delighted that he's here and i'm a known quantity to him so i went to stanley and i said stanley you've got your three three people here that are your generals you're one of my generals who are your three generals stanley and I go to Arafel and I said, Arafel, who are your three generals? And he gives me his three. Stanley gives me his three. Clint gives me his three. And I say, great. What I'm going to do is I want you to identify of your three generals, which is the strongest one? Who is your four-star general? And Stanley was pretty smart on this one. You know who his four-star general is? His wife. <laughs> I thought that was pretty clever. So his wife is right here. There's a woman named NG who's right here. Who's a, she's a very good networker right here. And then others down this leg. Okay. And this is actually, this is not an, a real life diagram. It's just for the purposes of showing you the process. There's quite a bit, quite a few more down here, but let's just say I have Joe, a prospect and I go, Joe, we have a position in an organization. You're Joe, you're in Nigeria. I'd like to have you placed with the Nigerian team. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place you right here. And this fellow right here, who's in the team, let's say this fellow's name is Fred right here that he's being placed under. We have to use Fred's link. Fred is getting a gift when he receives Joe. Normally, Fred, if Fred enrolled this person himself, he would directly get the commission and not you know, he, he's earned that money. But if we're placing Joe under Fred, Joe's getting a gift. And we've already had the conversation with him that says, look, if we place somebody underneath you, not if, when we do, and it's not just me, it may be Stanley, it may be NG, maybe somebody in this line above our Joe here. Um, in other words, if we place somebody down here, 
you're getting a gift, you have the potential of having a team underneath there, we would ask you to reimburse the activation fee that we have earned. We're, we're the ones that did the enrollment, but we're allowing you to be the sponsor and sign them up. That means you're going to get the $30 in your account. Will you reimburse that $30 to us when that commission comes in? And if the answer is yes, then they can play in this leg. So that's the condition. Okay. And they say, sure, I do that. I'm getting somebody for free. Network marketing pros is like no brainer, man. Of course I would. And, and we're going to continue to build down that leg as long as you know, the next person, let's say in my example, Joe here comes in and we go, Joe, um, one of the conditions is we're going to place somebody under you. And when we do, you're getting a gift. You don't, you're not out of pocket, anything you have, a, it's, it's, it's a gift. You're getting a new person in your organization that didn't cost you anything. And we, we have the expectation level that you will refund or reimburse that money to the person that did the enrollment. It might be Stanley, it might be me, it might be NG, it might be somebody else. It's a, somebody in that orange line above you, place somebody under you. Joe will typically go, well, duh, of course I'd do that. You're giving me somebody, yeah. In one of your legs, you're gonna have the potential of having you know, some pretty good income come in. And, and, and now look at what else happens here. If this leg goes crazy, guess what Stanley is really motivated to do is build out his other two legs. If this orange leg goes crazy, guess what NG is motivated to do to build out her other two legs and do the same thing that we're doing here in this leg and in this leg. That's the way this works. In other words, this creates a big, now, you know, if it's one line and, and Stanley only has one line, he's got to have three himself and he has to have three people hit ranks in the different legs. Like I have to have a V2 here and a V2 here and a V2 here to become V3. To become a V4, I have to have a V3 here, a V3 here somewhere and a V3 here somewhere, not frontline, anywhere in, in each of these separate legs. That's how the, the rank advancement works. So it's very important to understand the orange leg is income potential for somebody but they have to get busy on their own. This is the part about them catching their own fish. In other words, I'm teaching them to fish, but I'm not handing them fish. There's a lot of potential, but they've got to get busy and go out and do that. And this is exactly what you want because it's saying, look, I'm working with you. I'll help you on the green legs. I'll do webinars. I'll do all the stuff we normally do, but I simply will not place anybody there. The only place I'm placing people is in the orange leg for each of my generals. And I'm placing it underneath their four-star general in each of their organizations. That's, that's the, the, the simple analogy, the military analogy here that works because it's, you know, people can relate to that. The other, the other terminology that's used to describe these types of organizations is taproot. You know, on a tree, there's the main root, taproot. That's sometimes what this is referred to as the taproot type of a system. And the goal of this is to create massive depth because think about this. I, I, I mentioned to you, you have to have three front line, right? To hit V2, you have to have 17 additional. Well, what if those are three front line and then we have 17 down in this leg somehow? NG is getting busy here and already going wide in her own case. We're going to hit 17 probably before the, the end of next week with Stanley. Stanley will be a V2. Okay. Then all of my focus is going to be over here on Auraful. Clint is just taking off. He's, he's hurting elephants. He's got a whole bunch of people that are company owners. And, he, you know, Lon Lindsay just hit V2 over here. Clint's a V2. So I don't need volume over here. I, I went to Clint and I said, look, I'm going to give you the best compliment I can give you, which is I probably won't be placing anybody under you at all, maybe forever. You know, and, and, and he says, I get it. I mean, because I don't need volume there. He's, he's crushing it. So that means it's good for Stanley. It's good for Auraful. I've got to get those two shored up and really strong. And Stanley's now starting to take off. So he hits V2. 100% of my focus then is on the Auraful leg and getting it, getting him to V2. I've got three V2s, you know, one in, in three different legs. Boom, I'm V3. I'm already over the 100 person limit line. So I've met that criterion. So now the objective is to build depth here and depth here. And Stanley is starting to take off. So it's working exactly according to plan, exactly, you know, according to what we wanted to have happen. And when this takes place, it's very exciting because as we build depth, 
you're you're getting uh, you're getting an incentive that you normally wouldn't get. And no, not, normally, when you sign up, it's you. You sign up your people, and then you work with them. You don't have somebody above you placing people underneath you. That's why, if you're unfamiliar with this, recognize the gift that you're getting. It's really powerful. And yes, there's a little bit of a hassle because we'll get this. Why haven't you sent me your link? Well. We don't know who the bottom person is at any given point in time. It's, it's moving very rapidly and will move more rapidly. In other words, when I look at my organization right now, it's relatively smallish, but I'll show you something that's powerful and this is why it's moving. This, this is how many leads have come aboard from Nigeria since the 12th of December, 1,234 people have registered for the webinar. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's over 100 people per day if you're Nigerian, and I can deliver this to you if you want to participate in our co-op, not free. We'll go over all that. It's going to be kicked off on the 10th of January. But this is where this is coming from, okay? It, it's working. You guys that are here from Nigeria are exhibit A. It, it's working. And, and the idea that we can then have lots of people to place in the organization, which we do, it's, it's a real thing. How are we tracking this? Okay, here's a methodology that um, that we're using on Telegram. So we've got the main international channel or the main international group, I should say. Channel is just a one way. This is interactive. Then we've got each of my generals. Here's Clint. Here's Stanley, and here's Arafel. Just like what you saw in this diagram behind here, Stanley, Clint, and Arafel. Well, here they are, right here. I've and only people that go in these legs or the, these groups rather are people that have activated. They're at the bot, you know, that we, we started with the top and we worked our way down in a vertical line, okay? So if you look at Stanley's leg, here's the most recent guy that just came aboard. He's a Nigerian fellow by the name of Godwin Obina. And Obina came aboard, here's Obina's link. So if somebody says, what's the link right now? It's Obina in this leg. So I send out that link. You come aboard if you're that guy, Joe, we get you all signed up. You have to have your money ready to go. You're, you know, in other words, you have to be ready to activate. You've got the money in your account. It's in USDT in a place that you can send using the TRC20 network. Okay, good to go. Here's the link. We'll get you registered, get you activated, and boom, you're now the next guy. Then we start placing people, uh, the next person under you. This is how come when somebody says, well, why can't you give me my link? I don't know, man. I don't know who the, who the bottom person is until you're ready to go. The bottom person may change. In other words, it's not just having somebody register doesn't mean anything. They haven't, they haven't paid to activate. It only starts when somebody says, okay, I am, I'm ready. I want to play. I'm ready to activate. I got my 120 bucks on deck. I'm ready to go. Okay, cool. You're serious. You got it. You got it in Binance or Huobi or some other method where you can send that over to Royal Q and activate. Yes, I do. It will be able to be sent via the TRC20 network. Good to go. Let's get it done. We'll get the link. We'll do it with you right then and there. But if somebody just says, I want to register and they haven't activated yet, no, that's not what we're doing here. It's only people that are registered. In other words, they're serious. And if they are, they get the benefit of having a line with yours truly helping build that line in depth underneath them. You still got to do stuff. Don't get me wrong. This is this is a gift. If you it's it's it has income potential, but you still have to get work to work and build your other two lines. You're down here. Let's say you're this guy right here. You've got the one that I'm helping you build, Stanley and NGR, but you've still got your other two green boxes here. You got to build. We'll help you, but we won't build them for you. This one, we're gonna help, we're gonna not only help you, but we're gonna build for you some of it. Ultimately, all of this is up to each individual, though, as their individual responsibility. Think of this like a three-legged stool. You want to have equal legs so you don't have a wobbly stool. You want a stool that's stable. How do you have a stool that's stable? The legs are the same length. The, same, the, the legs have the same amount of, of volume in them. And see, what you, if you're working this properly, here's the equation that you have to have ultimately you look at your organization each day and hopefully you've got so, such equality in the different legs. You go, okay, now where am I weak today? That changed. It went, oh, now it's Stanley again. Okay, okay, now he's caught up. Okay, now it's Arful tomorrow. See, that's, that's what you want to have. You want to have your organization so equal that the legs are strong. Each one of them is strong and you're helping shore up wherever you're weak. That means each of your three generals is going to get your undivided attention when they're weak. That's good for them. It's good for you. Of course, you'd do it that way. 
This methodology ensures that you get the most bang for the buck, though, out of your own recruitment. And yeah, you've got the little bit of a hassle to explain this. Hopefully this video will help do that. But it's worth doing, guys, because if you do it this way, you're going to rank advance way more quickly than people have historically that have gone wide on their front line. I did that initially, and I wasted some good recruits. I would have rather had them at depth in this organization. Clint over here, as an example, he's got some people. I mean, when I refer to elephants, I'm referring to major network marketers. He's got people that own network marketing companies that are coming aboard in his organization, several of them. You know, so, I mean, any one of these guys actually really engages, they're a v, it's a V6 for sure. You know, that's exciting. And, and the same thing is going to happen in the Stanley leg and the same thing is going to happen in the RFL leg. I don't know if it's going to be Stanley. I don't know if it's going to be RFL. Frankly, I don't know if it's going to be Clint. It might be somebody I don't know in this orange leg somewhere that I'm helping facilitate that none of us know yet. It might be you. You might be the next superstar and you might be in Nigeria in here, or I'm going to be placing Nigerians here also. Once, the, once Stanley becomes V2, then 100% of my focus goes over here because it's strategically important to do that. I've got to create an equilibrium in my legs. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that was clear.